So last night I watched a B movie to study for that entomology final, and I don't think it was the best idea. Do you think we could review really quick? Sure. Want to study bees and pollination? Dr. Delaney loves bees. I'm sure we'll be on the final. You're right. Let's talk. So European honeybees are social insects and are probably best known for pollination. Yes, and pollination is bees just going from flower to flower, right? Um, actually, no. She said pollination is the movement of pollen grain, aka the male gamete, from stamen, male, to stigma, pistil, female. They use their wings attached to their fuzzy thorax to fly from their preference of plant to the next and finally return back to the hive. Oh yeah, and basically all hymenoptera and lepidoptera are known to pollinate. I think National Geographic put an article out that there are two species of cockroaches that pollinate plants. It may have found another species in Chile. What? Really? Are you serious? That is so cool. I didn't know that. Did she mention any other less popular pollinators out there? I also heard that we may have been overlooking termites and not giving them the credit they deserve. According to Entomology Today, scientists found a fossilized termite that may have been pollinated a milkweed flower. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Like, wow. Something that flowers rely on is cross-pollination from the wind. But animals and insects help so much, even though they can still self-pollinate. But that's not the best way. There is less variety of genes when flowers do this, and it isn't the most efficient process. Without aid of the pollinators, the pollination rate will go way down. That means there will be less plants, along with less fruits and vegetables at the store. The world will not be as green and colorful as it is now. If I learned anything from the bee movie, I would know this is a very real threat. Honeybee population has been decreasing for a number of reasons, including predators, pollution, loss of habitat, pesticides, and climate change. And humans can help save the pollinators. One way is by starting hives in our own backyards, not stepping on bees, and try using less, if any, pesticides at all, and help by planting more flowers. You know, this sounds like a pretty good summary of pollination. You want to move on to medical entomology? Sure. I heard mosquitoes are 